Welcome to part 3 of Castlevania 1. And this part, where the last part we did one level. Sorry about the short part last time and this time. Let's just say this is the first, since this is the first game I recorded, I didn't really have a timer of any sort to do it, and I did it all in one session, so I didn't really know how to time it well, so yeah. In this day, you know, I, I mean, we're really introduced to Mermen, which are those guys. You know, they, if I remember correctly, they were actually in the first level, but we barely got to see them, so. These guys in later games are cheap as hell. I also noticed that I now have the holy water, yay. And then we're rereading this track. Yeah, one thing I will say, even though I love the Castlevania games soundtrack, and oh god, Cleveland with Hawks, yeah, these guys are not annoying. They do reuse songs in this game quite a bit. It works against me in the because I'm surprised how much I love those games soundtrack, especially the Family Town version of the But we're not there yet, are we? And yeah, this part, just whenever you see a flame on screen, once when he, like, when he drops, when I'm halfway through the drop, or when I'm hide the Use your whip, it'll kill them easily. And I have the triple shot. And this is the first time I'm really introduced to uh, white dragons in, at in my memory. They are a pain. They do drop a lot of items, but they can be a pain to be a horse to kill. And then, I think I actually died in this level, I can't remember. One of the big things is just two of them in the hell way. And if you get into a tunnel under, right where this guy is spraying out of, I'll take the thing that's shut off, but yeah, that's there. And also, I figured out, well, as far as I can tell, I can figure out what was causing the squeeze to out whenever I got a rosary, it was because of the compressor. It, it only happens about half the time, so. Because that's the, because it's only showing about. Because it, in like one frame flash trick. It doesn't really show those that well with the with the Microsoft Video One thing that I'm using as a compressor. And we're at the boss now, which is Frankenstein's monster, or who is closely referred to as Frankenstein a lot. So if you do like looking to use the holy water, it's uh, easy. The flame, the flame can be a bit of a pain if you're not using the holy water like I am, but. I'm just that awesome at this game. Oh, only four to- ooh! Come on, so- oh. Only about 1,000 away from 69 to- <laughs> And we're at the single last level in the game, believe it or not. I'm sorry about the old black flash, that was me. Clean up the recordings. Cause I had to go somewhere in between the two, so yeah. This is by far the hardest level in the game, considering the boss. Uh, let me tell you, it is a pain. I'm not joking, this level can be a pain a lot. To beat the boss easily, you don't need to go through the entire stage without dying. Without dying? Or possibly even taking damage, because the holy water is the best way to take the guy out in a bit of a glitch. Or a piece of programming, I guess. Because the whole of in this game, I'm not sure if it does it in the other. I don't know if that plays the other from the other game. Classic games at least. The Metro Game is a lot better. But it also stuns them a lot with damage, you know. But I'm gonna walk right through like I did with a. Uh, like I do with a uh, knight later on, this part of the last. Yeah, this part. I think. And me, right? Oh, wait, what were you say? I'm, I'm, you guys are, since the recording is on one session, I wouldn't be able to read the comments, but you guys probably are wondering what I'm talking about Metroidvania if you don't play these games that much, but you want to get this with. Metroidvania is a thing that started with the games, uh, with Kathleen and the Night on the PlayStation 1, you know, technically speaking, Time Quest, the second game, did it first. It has, because it's pretty much, like, it sounds like it's, Pretty much Castlevania with the gameplay style of Metroid, non-linear gameplay. But it's much better in my opinion. Uh, but the storylines are actually really good. Like if you guys have a PlayStation 3 at all, I recommend you go into the PlayStation Store, I think it's around 10 bucks, and get either Castlevania Harmony of the Spare, which is 15, or Symphony of the Night, which is the original, which is 10. 
I'm going to tell you, you will love Tim, I mean, Tim Lee the Night voice acting. This is a game from 97, the year I was born. It's hilarious to listen to. It's army. Like, I'm sure a lot of you guys know of the line, Die, monster, you don't belong in this world, or at least, what is a man? Wait, no, I didn't know I What is a man? There we go. It just probably didn't sound as good as it did on the mic as it did in my head. But those are from that game opening scene, actually. Oh, yeah. Wait, do I do? Yeah. Ooh, one up. Yay. Also, one thing you're probably going to notice in between this part. One thing that's kind of weird because. You see, to. I was kind of scared of the death boss, like. So, like, they did. Wait. Did I? Like, see it. Wait, no, actually, I, I didn't. I did this game one fell swoop, except for the times where I got a game over. I saved it in between the levels just so I could do some stuff there to get back to where I was. <sighs> Sorry if I exhaled deeply like that. But my was really dry, as I call it, said part one since I recorded this. Part one, this one, I think I might even record part four all in one sitting. And ooh, Full Metal Alchemist, for those who are wondering, Full Metal Alchemist is no longer on that face. Instead, it's Kitaish. Which I doubt none of you have heard of. Oh, god, this is where I die, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, like I've mostly said in practically the video so far, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in part 4.